As coaches, it's our job to worry, and we certainly worry about that. We came out last night and got a good run in to get kind of the juices flowing a little bit. But the guys did a good job today. I mean, I think they understand that we have a tremendous challenge in, in front of us. I think we're learning that that through through bowl prep, there's a time to relax and have a good time, and there's time to to be serious. I think our kids, you know, thus far in our short time here, have done a good job balancing those two things. Are you a superstitious guy? Do you go through the same routine you did here a couple years ago? Or because of well, the slow start, do you try to switch that up? A yeah, bit? well, uh, essentially we have the same schedule. Um, you know, the practice schedule varies a little bit, but in terms of of what we're going to do, you know, I'd say it's it's – if it's not verbatim, it's pretty darn close. Caleb wasn't out there today. Is it still the back? And, and is he closer? Or do you not anticipate? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I just don't know right now. No. Um, you know, obviously he wasn't able to go last time, and he's still not getting much work in. And then you know you talked about Armani Chapman, but what about Brian Murray? He had to move there because of depth concerns. How has he done? And, and do you expect him to be able to step in because now he's kind of worn away too? Yeah, it continues to to work and get better um you know hadn't played a tremendous amount of just football in general um and then when he got here you know you've just seen him go about it and, and the right way and continue to get better you know there have been a couple times in the middle of close games where we've lost a guy or two and he's just been thrown in there and he stood up and at a couple different spots quite honestly so um i've been pleased with with his development is there a silver lining in that that you're not playing a team that's going to throw it 70 times well, or something? Well, I mean, there's certainly some of that. Um, we know we'll still be tested on the outside. I mean, um, but it's 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 pretty obvious what they intend to do in terms of running the football with the, with the extra hat with the quarterback and then some of the read stuff. So um, we'll still need to have our eyes in the right place and, and be ready to win some one-on-one -on -one battles down the field. Looking at some of those defensive linemen they have and the Tackles are like 360, 370. They got like a 6'9", 300-pound guy. Have you faced a, a D-line maybe that is physically big this year or remind not, you of anybody? Not this year. Um, it's pretty pretty impressive the job they've done in terms of recruiting to a system and, and um, you know, what they're trying to accomplish on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, they have they've obviously gone out of their way to be, you know, massive on the front and, um, and as, have in turn made it very difficult for people to run the football. Um, you know, years ago, Virginia was like that. Um, you know, I think Bronco's been a little bit like that um, when he was at, uh, at BYU. Just, they were just so big and they could, they could stand there in that 50 defense and really, really cause you problems. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit similar situation right here. How much of a, an indicator of how far this line has come this year will this game be, that, especially for those, those freshmen, those young guys? Well, it's it's always interesting. You know, I always think about, you know, the different – not only do you have young players, but the different challenges from week to week in terms of trying to find a way to hold up. And, you know, some you know in its simplest form, sometimes it's penetrating defenses. Usually you think of Miami like that in terms of defensive linemen that really get up the field. And then, and then it's guys that play a little flatter along the line of scrimmage like North Carolina does. Um, you know, this is this is you know a little bit of a combination of, of both. You know, there's just such a <laughs> such large human beings on the defensive line. Trying to find some crease in there is is difficult. So I think if you can if you can find a way to plunge it up in there and get three or four yards, you got to be pretty happy with that. Because you go look at the film, not, not very many people against some really good, really good teams have been able to do much more than that. You said Braxton was kind of the scout team, kind of simulating some of those fast guys. Obviously, couldn't be here on this trip. You have Jacob. How important is that role? And with a guy like Lynn, I mean, is there any way to kind of show what he does? No, I mean, uh, there's. You do your best to try to simulate it, but um, you know he's a special player for a reason because there aren't very many of them running around. Uh -huh. But. Uh, we've gotten good looks um, from our guys. They're doing the best that they can to help us get prepared for what we're about to face. Is there anything from last year's bowl game, either the week leading up to the game or the game itself, do you think kind of helped the guys this year, kind of, I don't know, help them prepare for, for this time around? Well, I think whenever you've been through it before, you have some level of understanding of what we're trying to get accomplished. And I try my best to explain it to them, um, you know, heading in, in terms of how we're divvying up our time and what, what's expected of them. Um, you know, so having experience at anything is usually uh, at least a, a good starting point or a good teaching point uh, when you head into the next endeavor. With Bud now, the days are counting down. You kind of just avoid it. 
making it a thing? I mean, is there, is it still out there just sort of like normal? And is, is there any point you address that and do something different with the, with the days kind of here? You know, this is kind of his last go. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the best way we can do it is go play really well. I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, we had some some really nice things there during the season. You know, towards the end of the year, um, that I know Bud was very appreciative of from our administration in terms of making sure we play proper respects. But you know, we do talk about it now. You know, this is the last the last go around, and um, I think it's important to everybody that that we put our best foot forward. I don't know what you expected this year with that, but was it different? <coughs> Did it unfold differently with his being his last year? Because you probably have. Obviously, very few people have something to even compare that to. Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is the timing of everything in terms of um, the announcement coming before the season. And, um, you know, I think that was the, the most unique part of all of it. And, um, you know, but probably deservingly so because of Bud's unique situation. So I don't know if there was a playbook. I don't know how many people... I've handled a, a situation like that before. Um, I think Bud's done a great job of continuing to make the focus about the players. Um, I think Virginia Tech has done a great job paying tribute to him. And now, you know, we have one more opportunity to, um, you know, to, to try and go out there and, and play and send him off the right way. And how happy are you with the assistant, the way the, some of these younger guys getting a chance to kind of coach this month? Is that something where you can think back to your young days where you get that opportunity and kind of something that you can kind of cherish? And sure. I mean, it's great learning experience for them, a great opportunity for them to, to be in the room and and be uh, the head coach of their position. Um, you know, I my own personal experience was I was given a, a room probably well before I was ready in terms of jumping right into being a, a, a position coach and um, not being that far removed from being a player. Um, so you kind of learn on the fly and emulate what you've heard and, and try and put your own spin on things. You had to put into words. What's at stake in this game? What does a win do for Virginia Tech football going forward? Well, I think it's a wonderful opportunity for this team to play together one last time. Um, we're similar to Kentucky, I think, in some ways, in the fact that they have a bunch of guys coming back next year. We have a large portion of our squad coming back. Um, so we want to put the focus on our improvement, pushing forward to next year while sending, sending our seniors out the right way. I asked you about Jared Hewitt a year ago. He said, you know, he's the Pied Piper of that room. How has he developed kind of in that year? What he means to this, this defense? Oh, he's been fantastic. I mean, he's just got great energy and juice and, um, you know, a great presence about himself, um, a great worker that the guys respect. Um, he's made himself into a good, productive player. And, um, you know, those, those young guys certainly appreciate him and respect him and, um, you know, he's he's going to do great things moving forward for this team. You've run the ball well the last two bowl games you've played. Is, is there something about that, either like rest or a game planning when you have that full month in between? That, that's a, yeah. Sort of well, that? thinking back to um, two years ago, um, the Oklahoma State game, that was a little bit like um, Wake Forest this year in terms of like trying to find a way to play a little bit of keep away while still being productive. And um, we were able to run the ball. You know, we had a, a bad turnover on the goal line, if you all remember, that really hurt us, in my opinion, in a couple plays on defense. And then last year, it was a little bit of the same thing, you know, in terms of not necessarily playing keep away, but ability to run the football and had one or two breakdowns on both sides of the ball that, that ultimately cost us a close ball game. So, that's kind of been the focus. I don't know if there's anything new or that 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 comes about in terms of bowl game preparation, in terms of running the football. I think maybe it's a little bit easier just timing wise with running the ball when you've had a, a break as opposed to throwing it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know that there's anything I don't know if there's any one thing that helps you run it after a after a break.